terrified right now. So I, I'm just going to read this expert and then I'm going to go. So this is from the book, this book. It's great. I love it. It is a little trans disclusive, but she mentions it in the afterword, which is what I'm reading from today. And this book is 20 years old now, 20 years old. And I just want you to think of that while I'm reading this, because what I'm reading sounds like it just was published yesterday. So from starting from page 267 on, this is what Inga has to say. Okay. Since writing Cunt, my position on sexual assault and violence towards women has evolved considerably. In Cunt, I limited my focus to the rape of biological women, but I have since realized that rape affects all segments of the population. Rape isn't just about men raping women. It is about the powerful rape of the powerless. The powerful raping the powerless. Sorry, I misread that. <laughs> um, every day, one can read reports of children being stolen, raped, and killed. The media tends to showcase stranger abductions, although the proclivities of Catholic priests have recently come into light. 20 years ago. Uh, <laughs> neither of these situations addresses the likelihood of children being sexually assaulted by the adults they know, love, and trust. How many children in this world live with the horror of rape in their daily lives? How many grown-ups have buried deep the terror of the visits in the night? of getting up for school the next morning and facing a playground of children, many of whom have also had similar visits the night before. We live in a culture that rapes its children. Think of this in terms of, oh, say, a college anthropology textbook on, mind, on ancient mind culture. Here is a line from a hypothetical textbook called United States Culture 500 Years, Years After Columbus. One trait of 20th and 21st century U.S. culture was the widespread rape of children. According to research done during the time, anywhere from 8,000, oh my God, 826,000 to 3 million children were abused in 1999. Abuse was categorized as neglect, physical, and sexual. This is 25 years ago. As many as 1 million children were reported victims of sexual abuse during that year. At this time, this number is equivalent to... <clears throat> two or more than the entire population of many cities, such as Seattle, Detroit, Houston, or San Francisco. Exactly how many went un unreported could never be substantiated. Some co something called child pornography. Also featured in the socio-economic relationship between consumers and the business sector, end quote. I can't think of any other culture that manages to rape so many of their children. I think it's weird to live in a culture that does this. She goes on to talk about her own personal history. And then on page 269, rape is often viewed as punishment for defying norms, as a way to ensure silence and conformity. So if biological women think we, so if women think we have it bad by being cast as whores who must have brought on the attack, imagine the Veritable field days lawyers, doctors, judges, reports, cops, and cops have with those who endanger society's stagnant ideas of gender identity. I have heard from many people and read in books and articles that gender variant women are the force to give police officers blowjobs as a matter of course. Sylvia Rivera mentions this phenomenon in an interview with Leslie Feinberg, two of my favorite people. When drag queens were arrested, what degradation there was. I remember the first time I got arrested. I wasn't even in full drag. I was walking down the street and cops just snatched me. We always felt that the police were the real enemy. We expected nothing better than to be treated like we were animals. And we were. We were stuck in a bullpen like a bunch of freaks. We were disrespected. A lot of us were beaten up and raped. End quote. Transgendered and or effeminate women are victimized on a whole different level of, pow of power and control. As the well-publicized murders of Brandon Tina and Matthew Shepard horrifying illust horrifyingly illustrate. And there's been way more since then. Gender variant people suffer untold humiliations in emergency rooms, courthouses, police stations, and morgues. For transgender folks who are sexually, sexually assaulted and live to tell about it, there is no end to the brutality at the hands of community officials. Can confirm. 
like, and that's, that's it. That's it. Like, we are a society that rapes its children and yet claims that we are for its children. By the way, go read this book. If you can find an updated version, preferably maybe this one or one from your, from like, like maybe a, a more recent one. This one was like 2014, I think. Um, I would recommend it because it has been 10 years since the afterward was published and there's been a lot more shit going on. Read it. Even if you are a man or a woman or envy, read it. If you have a cunt or not, read it. Anyway, but that line, we are a society that rapes its children. is so true and so vile. And every time I hear someone say, won't someone please think of the children? When, like, you know, the love, won't someone please think of the children? You know, like that shit. I wonder, like, do they think about this kind of shit? Do they think about priests? Do they think about any, like, schools, their own homes? Do they think about that? Do they think about the cis men? That, the or, like, this, this, anybody who does it, cis men, cis women. Cis women are and can rape and do. And the stigma, especially for male victims, come on, stop. Like, there's a stigma against male victims reporting their female assaulters. And I think that's gross. I think that's disgusting. And there's, there's just a whole stigma against it. And like, children can't speak up because they're told not to. They're told to shut the fuck up until they're adults, basically. Because they're not grown enough to understand. Meanwhile, these, these self-same children who are abused at night are basically mentally adults because of the abuse that they've had to endure. Because they've had to mentally age hundreds of years in one night because of the abuse that they've been struggling to understand. Okay. Luckily, that's never happened to me. But it, it happened. I, I'm speaking about all this right now. And I especially use the quote from that book. Because in 20 years, nothing has changed. In 20 years, nothing has changed. And like, you see what's going on right now, especially in America. And it's not so great here in Canada either. Because huh, you all fucking idiots keep voting in white, fat oligarchs. <coughs> Fart. <coughs> Pouli <Pouliver. coughs> Anyway. Um, and nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, like, Catholic institutions are still open to this day, despite the fact that they openly admit to raping their children. Nobody cares that these self-same institutions um, spent hundreds of years doing the exact self-same crimes to children of indigenous descent because they could and because it was to teach them how to be white. Oh, I didn't realize child rape was part of being white. Because it's not. Like... In November, Trump will be will be elected again. Make no mistake about that. If he rigged it once, he can rig it again. And he's going to. And I'm scared. Because already abortion is illegal there. And unfortunately, Canada has this shitty bad habit of imitating our stupid ass neighbors to the south. And I personally don't fucking want that. I would prefer we didn't follow the leader. And I know everybody doesn't like Trudeau right now. I know everybody thinks they're, that he's the reason for all the problems, but you're blaming him for a lot of shit that Harper instituted long before he was even in office and things that Harper wanted to do while Justin was still in diapers. I don't agree with the Trudeau family having this kind of thing over like it being a throne and that's gross. I think it's gross. You shouldn't have political families like that. That's not what democracy should be about. However, I think he has caused a lot less harm. Hear me out. A lot less harm than what could have happened if we had gone the other route. I can't even imagine where I would be right. I would be dead. I would be fucking, I would be dead. I wouldn't have been able to get married. I wouldn't have been able to do anything. I wouldn't, I'd be dead. Um... And I'm saying this as a reminder, when Trump gets reelected in November, are we Canadians going to pay attention? Are we going to start to look at ourselves and realize, oh, fuck, we're starting to follow them, too. 
very slowly and very surely, yes, we are following them in their fascism. And if we don't do anything, <clears throat> if we don't do anything soon, we are going to become America Junior in truth. Ew. Ew. Ew, ew, ew. Who wants to be that? Nobody. Nobody. So I want, I wanted to share that because first of all, cis white woman saying this shit, at least listen to her if you're not going to listen to me. Second of all, when did it become okay? We always say, think of the children when it like, we will say, think of the children, think of the children, think of the children, all while dragging them to church, all while not listening to them. And they say, I think my uncle touched me bad, you know, all while we elect a child rapist again as a prime, as a president. And no, I'm not saying Biden is innocent. Biden was a trash fire. Biden banned abortion. Biden sucks. Trump sucks worse. If you can think about that. I remember those four years like trauma, like legit trauma. And I wasn't even, I'm not even American. When is it going to stop? When is it going to be socially acceptable to say, hey, maybe we should, you know, close down these institutions that make child rape, you know, their thing. How they make priests, they rape them. How they make great wives, they rape them. Politicians, the incestuous bullshit of politics. We need to just start over again. Stop voting in the same five families and actually, you know, Vote in people who actually will make a difference. Stop voting for a name based on its fucking name and vote on a name based on what's being fucking said and what has been done in the past. God knows people will say false things in order to get into office. And I'm not saying believe everything. But follow the track record. Follow the receipts. Do obvious comparisons. Like, do the research. I know it's hard. I know research is hard especially for soft, for soft, smooth brained Americans who think that Trump is the future. But like, no, no, Trump is the future of what I just read, of that not changing, you, of every, of every, of it being legalized pretty much. Like it already is pretty much legal to rape a child. Like you see the punishments that, ped that pedophiles will get and they get nothing. They get like two years. They get promote like mm, they get nothing nothing and then we wonder why they can be elected president we are a society that rapes our own children and we expect to protect them and help them grow into well-rounded adults while ignoring that we're raping them i say we i sure as fuck have never raped a child but like we as in white people collectively we have made it okay we, we have made it okay. And no, no, shut the fuck up. I can hear the xenophobia right now saying, oh, but other cultures do it too. Shut the fuck up. Shut up. Because we started it. Child brides, you know, like inbreeding. Like we, maybe we didn't start it, but we certainly perfected it in this modern age. In this modern age. I'm talking about right now. In this modern age. Right now. So that it's become... It's like, if a country in power does something and the rest of the world sees it, it's okay. Because they're in power, right? So what they do, lead by example, right? Right? That's the danger. That's what I'm afraid of. Y'all are so intent and so fixed on us versus them. And you, like, when I, I'm actually saying, won't someone please think of the children? Literally, please think of the children. And I know I'm going to be mocked off this platform, off this platform one day. No, I won't. I'm never leaving. Um, I'll probably die on camera. But like, think about that. We are a society that rapes its own children. And nothing changes. We bring it up. We explain it. We talk about it. And nothing changes. Why? Once you start asking why, you'll never go back. And now you know why I have so much white hair. Because I always ask why. And when will it stop? And why not now?